Welcome back guys, in this video we will learn how to make this type of wooden cart or wagon in blender. So let's get started. Let's add cube and go to the object properties and change x scale value to 2 and for z axis 0.05. Let's add one more cube and change x scale value to 2 and also change y value to 0 0.03 then change z value to 0.18. Now let's add error modifier to this one and change count value to 3 then factor value to 1.1. Now change its z and y location like this. Now press R, X then type 20. Let's duplicate this one and change position like this. Then change X and Y scale to 0 0.02. Now remove error modifier for this one and then go into the edit mode and select its top face. Let's select move tool and change global to local. Then move it in the Z axis. Also for the bottom face. Now change back to global. Then press E to extrude in the Z axis around here. Now press S Z 0. Now let's change its position to around here and add error modifier with count of 5 then change factor value precisely. Now let's apply modifier of both objects then select both of these and apply all transform from here then add mirror modifier to both of these object in y axis. Make changes in position by selecting them in edit mode if needed. Now let's add cylinder and rotate in x axis around 90 degree. Let's change its position in edit mode so our pivot point stays at the center. Now after completing this add mirror modify in x and z axis. Now after this add cube and scale it in the edit mode and change its position around here. Now duplicate this cube and rotate it in the edit mode and make changes like me. Then add mirror modify in y axis. Now we will make iron bar borders to these cubes. So simply duplicate this bottom one and then go into the edit mode. Now select all and then scale like me. Now change its position and then duplicate on the other side as well. Same for the upper one. Now after completing this duplicate all of these on the other side. After this go into the edit mode and select all upper faces in wireframe mode and move them down like me. After this select this one and move it in the z axis and make it slimmer like this. Now snap cursor to select it by pressing shift s and add cylinder and make changes in edit mode by inserting faces and also extruding faces. Let's add one more cube and change its scale and position in edit mode. Now select its face and move like this. Then add mirror modifier on this. Now let's snap cursor to this one and add one more cube and make changes like me. Let's add two loop cut by pressing Ctrl R and scrolling mouse wheel. Let's scale both of these edges in Y axis around here. Once more add two loop cut. Now press Ctrl B to make segments like this. Now select these edges and scale them in Z axis.
Let's move it in the x-axis and also scale in the x-axis. Now let's select this wheel and duplicate them and press H for height. After this select this wheel and go into the edit mode. Now select both face and press I for insert face. Now let's bridge them from here. Now press Alt H to bring back that height wheel again. Now select these and go into the edit mode. Press Shift plus Y to scale down like this. Now select both face and press I to insert face, then bridge them. Let's snap cursor to selected, then add cylinder and rotate in X axis around 90 degree. After this scale down then add 2 more loop cut in the center. And then bevel front face like this. And make changes on the back side face as well. Now select these faces and scale in Y axis. Then select check or deselect. And change to individual origin. Now press E and extrude like this. Then press S for a scale like this. Make changes in object if we need it. Now snap cursor to world origin. And select this one and set origin to 3D cursor. Then add mirror modifier to this. Now make sure that everything is ok or not. Let's apply scale value by selecting all objects. Now we will add bevel modifier to all of these objects. Let's start with this one. Now for this one. Then this one. Now for these backside ones. After this let's go to front and do the same process. Now for the wheel rim, add bevel modifier and change geometry to arc. Now for the wheel, we will only change segments amount to 2. Because we will add subdivision modifier later. After this, add subdivision modifier to both of them. Now let's switch to material viewport. Let's add new material to this one with name of base. Now let's select all of these objects like me. Then select the base material object in the last. Now press Ctrl L and then select link material. Let's select the wheel rim and add material with new name. Now select these one and this one in the last and then link material. Let's split window like this and change to shade editor. Now select base material, now click on principal shader and press ctrl shift t then add texture I have provided you in the description. Now let's select this base object and go into the edit mode and select all then press u and choose cube projection. Now same process for the remaining objects. After completing this process, let's select the wheel rim and go into the edit mode and select these faces and assign them with iron material. Now select one of iron material and change its color to dark shade and increase metallic and decrease roughness. And that's how our modeling is completed. If you want to learn setup of light, then check out another short video from my channel, link in the description. Hope you learned something new, stay tuned, subscribe for more and goodbye guys.